What's on, ladies and gentlemen? My name's Ross. I like games. And today, we need to look at the very first enchanted card from Azerite C. The lovely folks over at Ravensburger have agreed to let me show off the very first enchanted card from the set. But it's not just me. It's me as me from Tabletop Gaming. For those of you that don't know, I do write an article about Lorcana every single month in Tabletop Gaming. Do make sure you check it out. I've been writing for them for years. They are awesome. So this is from me and me as Tabletop Gaming, the first enchanted from the set. It's Basil! Basil Disguised Detective, which... I was wondering whether it was going to not actually be revealed. Turns out it was revealed just yesterday by the lovely Lorcana villain. One of our absolute favourites, let's be honest with you. But the most important thing to start off with immediately here, this is a very different style of enchanted car than we are used to. Also, of course, do remember Azerite Sea is coming out in hobby stores and Disney parks on the 15th of November and mass retailers and DisneyStore.com 10 days later on November the 25th. It is a set I am very excited about. Now, one of the things that's really, really important here is that generally speaking, as a general rule, the enchanted cards from each set tend to have a similar kind of style. So take a look at Elsa, for instance, from set one. That's mostly the kind of style we were looking for. So look at Snow White from set two, similar kind of style going on here. Have a look at Chernobog from set three, which was my first ever Lorcana reveal. And you'll notice we've gone for a more painterly style. Look, I'm not good at describing art. I'm doing my best here. Over in set four, if we go and use Super Goof as an example, we got a similar kind of thing going on here. But again, they're very different to the set one and two cards. And then in set five, we had a very different style. Take a look at, for instance, Donald Duck Pie Slinger. It's very, very different to what we saw from the first few sets. And this is very, very different again. It is stylistically very unique compared to the Enchanted we've seen from the previous sets. Now... I wondered, as soon as I saw this, I emailed back the very first question. Hang on a second. Is this the style that all the enchanted cards are going to have in set six in Azerite Sea? And I was told exactly what I was expecting to be told. Yeah, that's a Bruno question. We don't talk about it. So I have no idea is the honest answer. I would love to tell you that this is going to be the new style and they're all going to look very much like this. The honest answer is, as it stands at the moment, I don't know. It is very much a, a wait and see scenario. But this is very different to what we've seen from previous Enchanted cards. And I prefer it, honestly. I think this is wonderful. It looks very much like kind of concept art. It's Basil, but he's a disguised detective. And we've got a couple different disguises going on here. And then we've got the concept for them behind in a very kind of pencil sketch style. Again, I'm not good at describing art. Which looks very unique and distinct from what we've seen in the first five sets. Personally, I really hope that this is something that we see more of in the future. But again, we are going to have to wait and see. But also, I, I do think it's pretty pretty obvious here that if I'm revealing this enchanted card today, more enchanted cards have got to be coming out pretty gosh darn soon. I'm so psyched to be showing you this one. Now, it's also a very good card. It's a card I am very excited about. It is an emerald card, six cost, four strength, five willpower, quest for two, shift four, more on that in a second, and during your turn, whenever a card is put into your inkwell, you may pay one to have chosen opponent choose and discard a card. Yeah, this is screaming Emerald Sapphire right in our face. Now, if we want to be shifting up here, if we want to be paying, remember, shift lets you pay less than the cost of the character, but you have to play it onto a different version of that character. So you can pay six to play it, or you can pay four to play it on top of another Basil. Now, in terms of shift targets, we do have one from Emerald, which is actually coming in Azerite Sea as well. Basil Hypnotized Mouse is a free cost inkable, free strength, two willpower quest for one with evasive. Not a bad little card, not bad at all, 
But if I really want to be shifting up into this, I don't really want a free cost. I want a one cost. And the good news is we have a one cost. We've got Basil Practice Detective from set five, from Shimmer and Skies, a previous set. And it's just a one cost inkable, two strength, one willpower quest for one with support. Now, interestingly enough, we've actually got, if we go right back to set two, Rise of the Floodborne, we have got Basil of Baker Street, which is the same card, except it's one cost more and has one extra willpower. Does have that little extra bit of survivability you might be craving, but you basically pay one more to get one more willpower. I'm going to leave that one up to you. In terms of shift target, essentially they are your free options. If you want to stick in Emerald, you kind of have to go for the new one. Whereas if you're willing to go for Sapphire, then Basil Practice Detective to one cost inkable shift target, which is generally what we're looking for. Like if you want to aggressively shift into a card, you really want a one cost inkable. Cheap as possible, but inkable if you don't end up using it for whatever reason. Now, the thing is, if we look at this card, it, it's kind of Emerald Sapphire. You can play it in Emerald something else, but it doesn't work nearly as well. Because it is a card which attacks your opponent's hand, which is very much an Emerald kind of thing. But it does it when you put extra cards into your inkwell. And putting extra cards into your inkwell is very much a Sapphire thing. There are something like 432 cards that have been released so far in Sapphire, which give you extra cards in your inkwell. Obviously, we've got our old friend Bell from the very early days of the game, from back in the first chapter, who just lets you put an extra card in your inkwell once during your turn. Uh, not very subtle in terms of adding cards to your inkwell, but still very, very cool. But then we've got all the others that are just kind of staples in so many of these Sapphire decks. Cards like Fishbone Quill, for instance. There's just an item that lets you exert it to put a card from your hand into your inkwell face down. That's been seeing a huge amount of play forever in Sapphire. Or, you know, at least since it actually came around in the first chapter, which in, you know, Lorcana terms, is very literally forever. Even going back to the previous set, Shimmering Skies, we've got cards like Tipo here, a two-cost inkable that when you play it, lets you put a card from your hand into your inkwell face down and exert it. And these are just a couple of examples. There are a bunch more in Sapphire. And it's not just the ones we've got here. It's the fact that because we've got a bunch, it's pretty much guaranteed we will get a bunch more in future. And that means that this is always going to combo nicely with Sapphire. You want to be using this as much as you can with cards that are putting extra cards into your inkwell. That's where you're going to get the most use of it. And then, of course, we are going hard into Emerald here with a bit of hand disruption. Don't forget that we literally just had this past weekend the Disney Lorcana Challenge in Seattle. Where we saw Emerald decks representing with stuff like Curse Merfolk, where you have to discard a card from your hand with your challenge, and Prince John, that whenever your opponent discards a card, you can draw a card for each card discarded. Yes, there is obviously a very nice combo here with Prince John, because you put a card in your inkwell, you pay one to make your opponent discard a card, they discard a card, and then all of a sudden you get to draw a card at the same time. I love this card. This is a card which I think has a huge amount of potential. Having a good shift target makes me happy. Questing for two makes me happy. But most of the time here, I just want to sit this dude on my bench and chill and constantly make my opponent discard cards. You do not have to exert this character to do so, so your opponent isn't going to be able to challenge you. But of course, if we make the obvious comparison here to Bucky... The, the really good card that had to be heavily errata because it was literally too good. The major opponent discard. Bucky, firstly, you didn't have to pay. Although you did have to play Floodborne characters, which I suppose is kind of the same thing. But the thing about Bucky is it had Ward, which gave it that level of protection. This doesn't have Ward. So even though it can't be challenged, it can be chosen by effects of your opponent's skills and can be taken out in that regard, which at least will give you more options to deal with it. I love this card. I love the style of enchanted cards here and I'm terribly biased, but I don't even care. 
So, yeah. Tell me what you think about this style of Enchanted. Do you think the rest of them are going to look like this? I genuinely don't know, but I hope so. But I do just want to say one more quick thank you to Ravensburger for letting me reveal the card. And Tabletop Gaming, because I write for them and they're awesome and they're lovely. And I got to do this reveal as both Wossy Plays and Tabletop Gaming. And that makes me very happy. But now I want to know what you think about this card, about this style of Enchanted, and whether you think all the others are going to look like this as well. So go nuts in the comment section, but be nice! And then make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter at the Wasi. That's where we talk about, oh, look, honor and a bunch of other card games. But by far the most important thing as always, look after yourselves till next time, would ya? Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross, and you've been watching Wasi Plays.